Well, hey, how y'all doing out there? Well, me, I, I just worked up one hill of appetite walking by about a three and a half foot timber rattler. Then got him a chipmunk, and uh, so I got that on another video. So check that out when you can. It was pretty exciting, but it got me hungry, and it made me kind of anxious because you know it's a timber rattler, man. And so when I was walking down, what got me to come into the deep woods was y'all. I found this beautiful, gorgeous patch of orange chanterelles. These, this mushroom right here is by far my favorite. It goes with everything. I believe that people pay like 17 bucks a pound for this wonderful, beautiful mushroom. It's loaded with antioxidants, B12, all the stuff with the mushrooms goes with it, but it's just one of the most edible, goes with the foods used in fine restaurants. They're the ones that buy these. Uh, but today, I'm gonna add a little something different. So let me show you. Right here, I got some, some, um, some of that, those mushrooms uh, boiling up. And I'm gonna do them with some, uh, let me get my studio set up here just right. I'm gonna do them with some, uh, um, silver leaf. Now, silver leaf usually has a little beautiful orange conical flower on it, and it's called the touch me not plant. And you can always tell it's a silver leaf by, let me see if this will work out for me. Uh, it's a silver leaf. I can just pour a little, catch a little water in one of these leaves. All right, now see how I caught the water in the leaf and it looks silver. So it's called the silver leaf and it collects water and in the morning, y'all, it is just some of the most beautiful things. But uh, the thing is, this plant is remarkable because it is edible, but it's mostly medicinal. The leaves are great. The leaves are great for um, um, itching, just like the plantain and the sassafras. But you make it more in a pulses. But this, y'all, is great for eczema, psoriasis. The Cherokee used it for measles with, with, it, with an infused version of the leaves. But the thing I'm going to talk about is we're going to take the leaves off. And I'll say to them later, I'll make a poultice, and I bet some hiker will need that. The thing is, these stems are what's amazing. These stems, y'all, are like green beans. It's just like green beans. And you think I'm joking. And you got to stew them up. That's why I started my watering off first. Now, I don't want anything purple off the plant, and I got them young before they flowered for a reason. So, uh, what I do is, let me see if we can get this down here where y'all can see it. I'm going to cut them. I would sit here and cut them in little pieces like this. I take a, I take a bunch of stalk and cut them together. And, I, and you see how it's a little tube, and these are full of water, chock full of vitamins. Just great stuff, good roughage, good greens right here. Um, and I put them in my thing, and what I did with some, uh, uh, I'm boiling it right there. Y'all, it smells like green beans, and sorry, I got steam on my glasses, and that rattler got me all fired up, boy. I can't wait for y'all to see that video. But I made some of that. Now, what I'm going to do, is y'all know that I'm hiking the trail, and I need my, my starches and my proteins and whatnot. So, what I'm going to do is I, I get these 99-cent pack of potatoes. And this one's sour cream and chives, so I wanted that extra little flavor to go with the mushrooms and the green bean, because I'm making green bean, mushroom, uh, chanterelle mushroom, and potato uh, mix, and that's my dinner tonight. Now what I got to do is, this has been boiling. Oh man, y'all. And Let me just try one real quick to see how well it's done. Oh. It's done got chewy, and it tastes like a big green bean right out the can. No joke, y'all. Touch me not. Silver leaf. They're everywhere. I mean, and it tastes just like green beans. Now, since my fire's gone down, and my water's already boiled up, I only had about a half a cup in there I did it with. So I'm going to mix it with my, my potatoes till I get it the, the thickness that I want, because these are just instant potatoes. All they need is hot water. I'm still running ethanol on my little tie kit's pocket stove. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness, it's my turn. Look at there. You see the orange chanterelle in there and the green from the green bean looking uh, silver leaf. You ever never thought about eating a stem like that? It tastes a little bit like a green bean by itself. Damn sure that y'all, I'm joking, and it's full of water. And it's, and it's, and it's full of the B12 that I'm gonna need but not in the high doses, but when I cook it like this, it'll will mix with the potatoes and give me just a bunch of energy and a bunch of good stuff in my belly. Here we got to go. Y'all know the deal. I bit into the chanterelle first. 
and it hit in with those sour cream and chives potatoes. No other seasonings. And bam, y'all. Bam, this is... I mean, if it wasn't for my teriyaki noodle and pheasant back, excuse me, sweating, I've been over this hot stove slaving away. I did this meal, y'all, by the way, for 99 cents with high-dollar restaurant mushrooms, natural mother's green beans loaded with vitamins. I got leaves that I can use over for my itching or my eczema or my psoriasis or my measles so I don't have to get a vaccine. And wow, I'm just eating so good for 99 cents. I didn't even use half the pack of potatoes. And look in there. Look in there, y'all. That's a whole meal for me on this trail, by the way. I have been trying to at least one day water fast a week. I'm going to build up to three and maybe seven. But it's hard to do on the trail. I need, I need my nourishment. And look, the mother provides my nourishment. Look at that, y'all. I mean, they're right here underneath me. And uh, But that rattlesnake's back that way. And my dinner's right here. So instead of going that way, I'm going to go that way. <laughs> Getting out of here. Because he's pretty mad because I pinned him down. And, and I wanted to show everybody what a timber rattler looked like. So I did my part. But um, anyway, uh, Shannon Rail mushrooms and silver leaf green beans with some sour and chive 99 cent potatoes from the dollar store mixed together. The mother, the, the, the packaged food. Did the best I could with as little as I had. I'm having a wonderful meal that would probably cost me a bunch in a restaurant. But it cost me 99 cents, y'all. And it's better than a 99 cent burger. I can feed two people. So that's 49 and a half cent a piece. So think about that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to eat. I love y'all. I'm fixing to eat a tasty meal. But this is, it. this is what it's all about, y'all. There's things out here and all you got to do. I'm sitting right by and they're beautiful. They called to me. I was walking on a trail. A rattler miss hit me. So she was, he was going to have a chipmunk to, for dinner. So I done made him mad. So I'm having my dinner. Let him have his dinner. And there you go. But uh, it's all about learning what was stolen from you. This is great food. Very cheap. There's, there's things coming up. We're not going to be able to afford to eat like we used to. We're going to be able to afford to eat better. Y'all get me on that one? We're going to be eating better during a food crisis. Y'all watch, pay attention, learn, teach me, and there you go. It's called community. I love y'all. Peace, enjoy, and don't live in fear. I love y'all.